Welcome to Sustain This, a podcast where we discuss mindful consumption, personal style, and the quest for living a more intentional life. I'm Alyssa, a sustainable stylist. And I'm Christina, a shopaholic turned minimalist-ish. And I'm Sina, a color consultant and slow fashion style coach. Together, we will unpack the nuances of what it really means to be a conscious consumer and find more joy in what we have right now. So grab your tea, your coffee, or whatever floats your boat and join us in the conversation. Let's go. Yay. 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 (laughs) Hello. Welcome back. We have a fun episode for you today. I think I say that every time, but every episode is fun in my opinion. We have some habits that we're going to talk about today because we've mentioned this before, that slow fashion, that changing up our consumption habits has everything to do with the things we do on the daily and not just how we shop or what we wear. So today we're going to talk about some habits to level up our personal style without shopping And I think these are all things that we learn over time. And, uh, you know, you won't spend any money, which is always good. Uh, (laughs) You'll get to know yourself, I think. You'll get to know your closet. And uh, I don't know. These are just some of these are so simple. And this is the thing. Like, I think a lot of these habits, that's what habits are. Like, they're not sexy, right? Like, habits are those things that you do, but that bring excellence down the road. So um, if I can be so bold as to use the term excellence when it comes Mm. to personal style. Yeah. (laughs) Right? Okay, good. Why not? Um, So, yeah, I don't know. Some habits, uh, I mean... My my biggest one is also obviously taking time to shop my closet, whether it's like on the weekend or just like, I mean, I do it for a living. So for me, it's kind of, I'm very lucky, but I know we don't all have that. But for me, that's like the probably the basis, like the mm-hmm. biggest habit that you can get into is just start training your brain to be like, what do I have at home? When can I schedule? Like, even if it's 20 minutes for myself or like 10 minutes the night before to just go through your closet, pull out some things, play a little bit. But um and that always just gets the creative juices flowing. What about yeah. what about you, Sina, Christina? What what some habits? Yeah, playing dress up. I think is the the favorite one. I don't know if well, you're Canadian. You know who Mister Dress Up is? Mm. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we will link him. It's in the this show kids. Notes. It was this kids show uh, that we all grew up on, and he. It was called Mister Dress Up. I'm explaining for Cena and anyone who <laughs> didn't watch mm-hmm. CBC growing up, <laughs> but uh, he. I feel like, you know, Mr. Dress Up was he uh, his whole show was he had this chest called a tickle trunk and he would like pull out, you know, it's like Mm -hmm. today I'm going to be a train conductor and he would dress up like a train conductor and just use your imagination to play. And the whole basis of that was playing dress up and we can all be a little bit of Mr. Dress Up every day uh, just by playing and experimenting. So maybe you reach for, you know, the same pair of pants. And t-shirt every day, switch it up. Maybe change one element or add add one layer or add an accessory. Or maybe you carry a backpack all the time, carry a shoulder bag and see how it feels. Uh, so when we say play dress up and shop your closet, it doesn't necessarily mean like you don't even have to pre-plan it or any of that. It's just like in the moment when your closet's, when you're getting dressed instead of reaching for the same thing that you always do over and over, is there something that you haven't worn in a while? And it's just, Hey, maybe I'm going to try that on today. And maybe you only, maybe you only put it on and you're like, hell no, not today. But I think that is still, that still play and that still builds the habit. And that also gets you using and being familiar with the closet you have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that familiarity, I think it's so underrated being familiar with your inventory and knowing what you have in your closet. That is so, so underrated. And that's like why those apps can come in really handy if you're not someone who can who or maybe your closet is is really big and you can't always get it like visualize what you've got in there. But yeah, just knowing what you have is key. Which which brings me to another point, which is um Put, putting your clothes away properly and keeping them organized properly because yeah. you can't you can't make killer outfits out of clothes you don't even know you own or the clothes that <laughs> the are pile, like the chair yeah. that chair <laughs> the chair oh my god I feel like oh, there's, there's so several, many memes. there's several levels to keeping an organized word or like Ooh, to, to storing or sorry to putting your things away 
um mm-hmm. for me it's definitely because I have this really bad like it's a bad habit I will because I get lazy I don't know I'm mm-hmm. definitely I think when you're trying to figure out what your style is one thing is the aesthetic but another thing is also your behavior Mm-hmm. And I'm definitely a lazy person when it comes to like my work. <laughs> like I'm so organized, but I'm so lazy. It has to be easy. Like I don't yes. want to, I, I enjoy carving out time and saying, okay, now I want to like play dress up and spend some time with my wardrobe. But on a day to day, it just has to be easy. And I have this really bad habit of leaving the exact same outfit I wore today on the bathroom sink and then just wear it again tomorrow. And I'll do that for like <laughs> yeah. four days in a row, like mm-hmm. similar to the chair, yeah. right? I'm wear- That's what I'm wearing this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And totally. it's like such totally. a shame because you have a wardrobe full of pieces that would also be worth wearing. But And I just feel like if I don't put my stuff away, I'll just, mm-hmm. I'll do that. So I need to put it away in order to Mm. grab something else the next day I kind of like that I find that though that I do this very similar thing uh like I'll wear the same pants all week because yeah I'll either just like lay them out on the side or they're the first thing I see I kind of put them in a way in such a way where it's like oh I'll just grab this but I think there is something to be said about that too because I notice at least in my behavior I will I kind of have phases or eras of my clothing. Mm. Tell me if you feel the same. This is kind of a bit of a tangent, but Mm -hmm. it is a habit. It's a habit that I, that I notice that I do. Um, For example, like, and, and I think this is, it's kind of about closet rotation and just rediscovering things. But like, for example, if you buy something new, uh, do you find you tend to wear it a lot for a little while and then you kind of get a little tired of it and then you switch it up. So I find I do that quite often with a lot of my clothes. Like I'll wear this top four times in a week and then I get tired of it and then I switch out maybe one or two elements. Uh, And I, yeah, I just kind of have like little eras and phases with my clothes, which can be a good or a bad thing. (laughs) 100%. It's a behavior. Sina mentioned a behavior and this is, Mm -hmm. is, I do the same thing. It depends. Either I'll buy something and it'll stay untouched for like a month or a few months yeah, like time that until I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or I'll have it right away and I'll like integrate it a whole bunch of ways and then mm-hmm. it'll get like just set back into the regular sort of rotation. Yeah. But I think it's okay to have like phases with your mm-hmm. clothes. Like I think mm-hmm. we talk a lot about, oh, like wear your clothes, get good rotation. But it doesn't mean like wearing a new different piece every single day. You can... I, I find at least I don't do that. I definitely dress in phases. Like I kind of fixate on a couple of pieces, whether it be a pair of shoes or a top or a pair of jeans or something. Mm-hmm. And I wear it a lot for like a month or two. And then I kind of switch up and move on yeah, to something else. Yeah, you take else. a break. break yeah, from them and take then, a break. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like yeah. I do the same thing. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think another level to the whole putting your stuff away is to put it away properly. So that it's yeah. ready for next time you want to wear it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's like taking it off. From, I know that like for me, I definitely don't necessarily steam everything when I take it off the, mm-hmm. the uh, what's the hanger? The, the hanger. <laughs> like, or yeah. when it's like when I've done the laundry, I don't necessarily steam it before I put it back into the wardrobe. But I think there's definitely something to that, like making mm-hmm. sure that things mm-hmm. are steamed <clears throat> and in mm-hmm. Welsh, you know. Yeah, like if it condition. needs it. Yeah, so that it's mm-hmm. because that can be what's keeping you from wearing that piece. It's totally. I had a pair of pants yeah. like that actually last year where it was like, okay, these were a pair of tailored wool pants that I probably shouldn't have washed in the first place, but I did. Mm. And they were so creased. I never thought I was going to get them back into their original shape. But then mm-hmm. when I did get around to actually, you know, iron them, it was like, why haven't I done this before? Like, I don't want to wear them yeah. all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's not really appealing to like put on an item of clothing. And like, I think things fall better when they're steamed, when they're ironing. Like they just yeah. fit yeah. the way they're Even supposed a t-shirt. to. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I know. I hate a wrinkly t shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Especially here. Like this piece here just has. Oh, yeah. Me. I know. It pisses me off so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I think also just before we kind of move on to the next point, I do think it's it's good to acknowledge the fact that maybe our clothing 
or the pieces in our closet have different eras and seasons because mm-hmm. that can get us out of that mentality mm-hmm. that like knee jerk declutter like oh I haven't worn it in yeah. four months so yes. it's gone I but it's like no no don't believe in those like, yeah okay, like, if yeah. you haven't worn it in three months you have to get rid of it I don't believe in that I know I I used to be such an advocate of that um, but I think that was just such like a harsh uh, I almost want to say like in my masculine energy you know Mm. Uh, Mm. because a lot of like especially with like minimalism I want to like it's Mm. uh, it's kind of like very very I think the old advice or like the original advice when it was first coming up on the scene was it's just like very pragmatic and Mm. I think like if you're initially decluttering or you feel very, very overwhelmed slash you have like you actually have a lot of stuff or you have stuff that's like from high school still, you know, get rid of it. But yeah, I do agree. I think you actually told me this once, Sina, like there's that plaid Anina Bing blazer that I like almost never wear. And every time I declutter, I think about decluttering it and I still never do. Um and I don't want to get rid of it. So, but it's also not something that I wear a lot. I'll wear it like once every couple of months. And I like it when I do wear it and then I put it away. Mm. So you can have pieces that you don't really wear that often. And because a lot of us have like, you know, I think if a lot of us here are clothing lovers and we don't necessarily do the whole 30 item wardrobe thing. I think a lot of us have more clothing than that. So there's uh, uh, things are just not going to get as much wear as other pieces and I think that's okay yeah Hmm. yeah because where's it gonna go it's gonna end up in a landfill so yeah yeah true or you're gonna declutter it and regret it and buy it again (laughs) 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 I've done that (laughs) so yeah yeah. anyway that's a little tangent but uh well I mean that's kind of a habit maybe maybe Mm -hmm. like uh I think decluttering is a habit and I just did a YouTube video about this and Nowadays, I look at it as more of a maintenance tool. So I think there is a need to kind of regularly audit your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, it's not from a perspective of, oh, I'm so frustrated with everything I have. Mm -hmm. I need to get rid of it. I feel Mm -hmm. buried. I feel overwhelmed. It's more like, okay, is this t-shirt worn out? Or yeah. Is this and an something... opportunity to learn about your style too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I find now when I declutter, it's more like because this does not fit and I'm not going to fit into it again and I know that. Or every time I put this on mm. in hopes to wear it, in hopes to rock it and integrate it into my style and my wardrobe and actually get that use, it's something that I take off immediately because it's like uncomfortable or it's itchy or it's far too big to be tailored. Uh, those are sort of more my criteria now for decluttering. Um, mm. And when I do declutter, I try to sell things now instead of just like donating it slash like getting rid of it to get Mm -hmm. it out of my space but it's going to go somewhere else into somebody's space so Mm -hmm. it's just a lot more of a slow considered maintenance tool slash habit rather than I call a frustration tool Mm. yeah that's great yeah Yeah, Yeah. I think that's totally relevant Mm -hmm. it's a great habit to do that like regular edits edits and audits edits yeah 100 percent yeah Um, I think also, uh, something that I learned on the podcast from you both from one of our episodes, I don't remember which, but, um, was when we spoke about pausing between purchases, like Mm -hmm. taking or the importance of, of pausing, like Mm, after you make a purchase so that you give yourself time to style it and integrate it into your closet and play with it, um, rather than always seeking like the next it's like okay I yeah even if it was a wish list item like okay I've checked it off now I'm on to the next it's like wait a Mm -hmm. minute like take a minute because it doesn't necessarily come easily right like I those leopard boots that I've talked about before Mm. I haven't actually really worn them more than twice I think since I bought them so it's definitely something that you know I love them but it's it's some pieces just it just doesn't come as easy as you might think it will Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah yeah it doesn't become a regular it's kind of a it's either like your outfit maker for certain events or mm. yeah it's it's something that you wear in a season uh in a specific season so yeah I think give yourself a little bit of grace for that for sure mm-hmm. but I do find that that's kind of a shopping habit that I notice is if I buy something new and I really love it I love the quality I love this I love that one thing I'm like oh 
now I need to go get something else from this brand. Mm. Um, so kind of like buying the same thing in like five different colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I do agree. Like that pause and that playtime. I think yeah. style habits is all about playtime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 setting yourself up to be able to have that playtime. Yeah. So through the yeah. closet organization, through slowly acquiring slowly decluttering all of those things Mm -hmm. slow yeah Yeah. yes yeah Sina you talked about how like it's the behavior what is a what's another behavior you you mentioned talking about like you're using using maybe like a style icon or style inspiration Mm -hmm. can you talk more about this because this is something that I'd like to work on um yeah I think for me it's I love, I always love picturing, first of all, it, I think it's about, you know, using social media in your events and like, mm. you know, getting rid of accounts that are not giving you inspiration, but just makes you feel like you're always missing something or you're not trendy enough or you're not good enough. Um, and I think it's about like finding some people or whatever it might be that inspires you that you can follow that can give you that reassurance and permission to 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 dress up or like show up as mm-hmm. as whoever you want to be. Um so to like for me I I do have like a, a couple of people I follow that kind of give me that feeling and it doesn't necessarily have to be people that have the exact same style as you mm-hmm. but just people that have um an ability to show up for themselves and ask themselves mm. you know every day yeah. without you know uh without having to ask for permission or like it, they just mm. you know it's it's like it's this is something I do for me and I take pride in in dressing up in a certain way or wearing certain pieces I just find that really really yeah. inspiring mm. um, like if they can do it why can't I yeah exactly yeah, yeah. it's uh, and w- I think we talked about this before it can also be people in your community like mm. just people watching there yeah. I think I mentioned a lady in my neighborhood who yeah. always likes wearing yes. a lot of jewelry when she's out walking her dog and it's like yeah that's so cool like if she can do it then I can do it too yeah mm-hmm. so I think it's about figuring people or finding some people that can that can spark that feeling within you too and I for me it's often Mm -hmm. other people who have kids for example because it's something I can relate to and it's after I became a mom I'm definitely I've become more lacy with my style because it has to be more practical Mm -hmm. and I'm more afraid of ruining things and it's more like it's harder to to like say okay uh I'm going to wear all of my jewelry and I'm only going to the library today or I'm only you know it's Mm -hmm. um so, but I think, yeah, again, if you have some people that you that can inspire you to, yeah, do that anyway, because it makes you feel good, then, mm. yeah, that's really, yeah, I agree. It's really I think, helpful. I think the habit of getting, I love that you, again, it's like using your inspiration as a tool instead mm. of yeah, not finding, necessarily finding mm-hmm. what's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and not necessarily copy pasting, because I think a lot yeah. of the times we talk about inspiration as someone, you know, okay, we turn to to get outfit ideas. And I do have people I follow like that, too. Some people who are who have a, a similar style to me and who have similar uh, wardrobe staples to me mm-hmm. so that I will get new outfit ideas and ideas on wearing old faves in new ways but I think sometimes it's also worth finding people who are not necessarily the same style personality as you but mm-hmm. just their behavior really encourages you and really inspires you yeah I agree yeah. yeah um I think and you kind of alluded to something I think is a great habit and that's just to get dressed for nothing mm-hmm. so I yeah. think we also talked about in one of the Copenhagen episodes about uh you know, if, if it's like, oh, I'm just going to the grocery store, so I'll just wear my leggings and my puffer vest and my sneakers. It's not like I, I think, Sina, you put it perfectly in the sense of, oh, it's not even worth it. Mm. I think there's a great quote that I just love that's uh, – it's, it's how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. I think a lot of times we think we need to save getting dressed for specific events, for date nights, for dinners, for brunches, et cetera, things that – we're going you know special special events but it's the small things that you can do every day and again that's not 
meaning you need to wear a ball gown to go mm-hmm. pick up bananas, but you know, you can dress up, you can throw on, maybe this is when you throw on that blazer you've been meaning to wear or the cool pair yeah. of kitten heels if you're not walking very far or something, you know, just, it doesn't have to be like, oh, you dressed up today, where are you going? It's just, mm. you don't feel or look at a place in the vegetable aisle, but like you, you still put in the effort and you had, and you feel good and you have fun. Yeah. And again, it's playtime, it's dress up. So yeah. dressing up for the small things. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. I think matters. Definitely. Yeah. I love that quote. How you yeah, spend it's your great quote. days. It's by uh, author, I think, Annie Dillard. That was lovely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Very, cool. very apt for the habits because it's true. Mm-hmm. Your habits kind of build your life, right? Yeah. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I love that. How do you feel about taking selfies of your fits? Oh, I love that. I need to do it more. I don't do it enough, but mm. I need to do it more. As a yeah. content creator, I don't take enough selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Just because know. everything is video content these days. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> goes on like hey, a photo shoot. <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know what, though? Like, I, I miss, miss I miss photo content because yeah, I don't too. know. I don't like saving a reel. It's not know, natural me for yeah. me to to say like, and they go so fast and they're all yeah. hard to find. Dancing. It's hard to find again, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's hard yeah, to find so. again. Yeah. And then you have to screenshot and it's like, yeah. Oh, and then it's awkward. Yeah. You yeah. feel bad for the person <laughs> in the photo because they're like frozen. <laughs> so yeah. Weird. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I love I just, the whole selfie bit. Like I'm, you know, it's, I could definitely get better at doing it, but even just when I'm making, and I know this comes from like content creation point of view. Mm-hmm. Um, I will like snap the daily mirror every once in a while. If I, when I get yeah. to the office, I'll just snap a quickly quick photo and save it directly into a folder. I could become better at it, but even just old outfits from the days where you did take pictures as a content creator i started like saving those onto oh, yeah. good in seasonal folders because there oh, are fun. so yeah. many great really old outfits even that it's like hey i've completely forget forgotten about this outfit and i want to wear yeah. it again mm-hmm. great yeah but you don't have to be a content creator to make to take no, a selfie no. so definitely not but yeah, it could just be a quick mirror snap. Yeah, whatever. it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have yeah. to be a good. Picture. But I do think it. Sh- I don't want to say should. Mm. I think it's better if it's mm. the full fit. So yes, not you shoes. in your socks. No, like, exactly. Po- no, you know, pose a little bit, kind of have some attitude with it. Yeah. Not just like, when, yeah. you know. Yes. In yeah. your yeah. So and also the only save thing. the photos that you or the outfits that you actually feel great in. I think Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you know I agree but at the same time I think photos are a great way to let an item grow on you Mm -hmm. Uh, I think like sometimes I'll like take a selfie and because sometimes maybe it's a silhouette that's new for you or a size Mm -hmm. that's different right things you want to explore and it's gonna feel uncomfortable uh it could possibly feel uncomfortable from the get-go but then you know, you like go back, maybe wait three days and then you take a look and it's like, oh, I kind of like that. Let me try this on again yeah. and then yeah. see how you feel and kind of zhuzh it up a little bit mm-hmm. because I do – I find that at least for uh, at least new items or things that you're trying to experiment with or things that just feel a little bit different, that that really helps me because sometimes – I'll go back on the f- and look at the photo and it's like, oh, no, that was actually kind of good. Let's try this again. Mm. Yeah. So I think I think that's two prong. I agree. Like favorite the ones mm. that you feel great in. But also this is like maybe have another folder for not sure and then kind of go back and review and be like, oh, let's try this. Yeah. Maybe it was yeah. a flop or let's try it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And I think with this one, with this tip about like make a habit of taking your the selfie, um, I, I think it's also very important to remember that some outfits just look better in real life and not in yeah. the photo. Mm. So some things just don't photograph well. Yeah. And on it's the fine. contrary, you can also make items that are not well fitting look great in a photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So it's if you're posing like, and everything, yeah. 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 So just pay attention to that, I think. But yeah. But I think building that library, even doing that helps you. Maybe you just like, uh, like I have a, 
a notion template kind of style uniform challenge. And mm. I encourage people to just like get dressed about your week the way you normally would and try not to have the bias of, oh, I'm doing this challenge. Mm. So I'm going to do this a little bit better than I normally would. Like try to just do the challenge as if you're living your life and take those selfies and then see. And this is very helpful if you want to find your style uniform and kind of hone in on what your three words are and what your wardrobe regulars are, uh, at least in, you know, this particular season, for example, but going back at and looking at those photos to evaluate, like, what is it that I'm wearing a lot? Um, Mm. What are these outfits that, what do I like to wear? What are my wardrobe staples? Uh, I think the selfies can kind of, can kind of also really help with that. Mm. Yeah. It just shows you what you wear quick snappy outfit inspiration I think from your own wardrobe mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. really an yeah, amazing yeah. way to get outfit ideas because you know it's something that works for you and you know yes. it's something you have already mm-hmm. yeah 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 shopping your own that's like shopping your own closet like mm-hmm. yeah. advanced <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the next yeah, level I know. Mm-hmm. yeah um Christina, you're like a very, really good, you've talked about habits before on your channel, and also in terms of like sort of reframing or taking a bad habit and making it good. Like instead of scrolling, how do you, can you talk a bit about like inter, like, because it's so, it's such a habit, interrupting interrupting the the scroll. Yeah. Like, what do you, can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah. So I like to, I think, and this is something that I need to work on myself because I love to be horizontal on the couch. I Mm. love a good mindless Mm. TikTok and Instagram scroll. And I often will tell myself it's because I'm like looking for inspiration. I'm looking for that outfit that I want to recreate, but really I'm just killing time and scrolling. So Mm. it is about interrupting that that loop. Uh, So if you do find something that inspires you, instead of going like, okay, what's the tag? What's the shop? What's Mm. the link to this? Is there something like it's literally like interrupting that flow and getting up off off the couch, putting your phone down and being like, what do I have in my wardrobe right now? Mm -hmm. And this helps me interrupt the impulse buy of like, oh, now I need this in my wardrobe. I need this exact thing. That fixation on this is what's missing. It probably really isn't because, you know, at least this is a helpful thing to recognize is like, what is it that you're attracted to? Do you, you probably, if you're attracted to certain styles and certain clothing and the way clothing is worn, chances are you probably already have it in your wardrobe anyway, because you're probably Mm. already drawn to that aesthetic. So if I Mm. see someone wearing a blazer in like a really interesting way, maybe it's not that exact blazer that I need, but it's a black double breasted blazer or it's, it's kind of going back to the elements of style and shopping your mm-hmm. closet. But the major key there is interrupting the, the, Ooh, I like that to what is that to add to cart? <laughs> mm, yeah. Right. So instead of shopping for that item, because, because scrolling it, like scrolling to buying nowadays is so frictionless that Mm. you just like your phone will scan your face and it's going to be there the next day so (laughs) god that is so scary and if you struggle with impulse buying or wasting time scrolling for me at least I know it's and it's hard to do it's hard to interrupt that Mm -hmm. getting off the phone and getting up and going to your closet and then back to the theme play playing dress up trying something on yeah, because maybe I think not a even lot of... necessarily re- recreating it, but just like picking up the the white shirt that I saw in the outfit. It's like, oh, I have one. Okay. Yeah, mm. exactly. <laughs> and that whole yeah. act of like saying, okay, let me go try to recreate some of these. I think often it's easier if you have a goal with that. Like, for example, Alyssa, you're going to a party tomorrow. So that could be, you know, okay, I'm scrolling for outfit ideas. Mm. So instead of buying something, it's like, okay, I'm going to go see what I can create because I have a specific mm-hmm occasion to get dressed yeah. for mm-hmm. which I think sometimes makes it easier for people to yeah. like get up and get a- be a- do something actively mm-hmm. yeah but I think it's so important to even do that just for regular life yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's just like I think we're I think because we live so online and mm-hmm. kind of alone but not alone like so connected but not at the same time mm-hmm. is that we I think like it's almost like we're 
separate from our physical world mm. a little bit, especially mm. when you're online and scrolling and looking for that inspiration all the time. So it's kind of like a touch grass thing, like mm. get up yeah. and instead of, you know, yeah, going outside, getting fresh air, going on that walk. Yeah, do that. But get up and go to your closet too. Yeah. Yeah. I love physical your life in the real in the real in the real world. yeah, the yeah. World. <laughs> I love that the touch yeah. grass you're full of full of good like quotes today <laughs> good. I, I didn't come up that. with touch grass that's yeah, it beautiful <laughs> beautiful um okay any other any other points that you think we should really we talked about time to play I think in the same vein as putting your clothes away properly and making sure that they're organized and everything I think practicing regular maintenance is a really helpful one yeah. and if it's not you or if you don't have time like you know finding a good seamstress or tailor just to do that that upkeep yeah. is really important yeah. Um, yeah like we talked a bit about steaming so that's like similar and uh, another one, one more point for me, which is similar to to the whole like taking selfies and, and stuff is uh, I like to test out items that are like in the maybe pile or like mm. items that I'm questioning my how to's. Is that I your rack behind out. you? Well, uh, no, that was filming. That was filming for a real rack. <laughs> so all of those are pieces that I love. Um, but like I'll take this time. It's a very multi-purpose rack. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's like Cost for use. One. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like <laughs> pennies now. Um, but I'll wear I'll wear items that I'm questioning or that I'm unsure about or a whole outfit that I'm unsure of. I'll wear it during the day just at home because it's a safe space and I can mm. test out how I feel and how I'm moving through it. Because um, I think sometimes we don't want to take maybe a style risk. And yes. that that stops us from playing and being adventurous and bold sometimes. So it's like if you've tested it out in a safe space or maybe you go to like, you know, with a friend's house with like a group of girlfriends and you know mm -hmm. they're going to like it's a safe space. And you test it out there. So yeah. giving your outfits a little test run before you do that is always a yeah, it's, it's a habit, too. That's kind of fun. I think so, too. Yeah. 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 And I do Any, think that yeah. that habit is easier to do if you separate like physically separate those pieces from the rest of your wardrobe mm -hmm. yeah not necessarily all of them because it could be a handful and that might make yeah. you feel a little overwhelmed but mm -hmm. i mean just like physically separate that piece for a little while yeah. i think it makes yeah. it easier to actually complete that habit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. totally i like cool. it and i like that the fact that just kind of going off of that um because sometimes it makes me think about if you ever have like a little declutter pile that you haven't gotten out of mm -hmm. sight, sometimes you'll like go by the bag and be and mm. grab the piece that's over the top, off the top yeah. of the bag. And it's like, let me try this again. And yeah. you know why you want to do that? Because it's in your face. So if mm. you put your maybes in your face, whether it be on a rack or when you first open up your wardrobe, it's the first thing you see in the sight line. Mm hmm if it's if you can see it, then yeah. you're more likely to to reach for it. I so. think that's another great style habit in general yeah. is to like make it easy for yourself. I because I have clients too who are like, I never wear jewelry, but I really want to. And it's like, okay, mm -hmm. how can we make this easy for you? How can we yeah. remind you to finish up your outfits with jewelry? Don't mm -hmm. hide them away in a box somewhere in your wardrobe. Then put them in a little cute tray in the bathroom so that yeah. after you're done brushing your teeth, you can put on your jewelry and then mm -hmm. you're done. Mm -hmm. So you really need to make it easy for yourself, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I think so too. In I found that with uh, my in my old apartment with my shoes because I would keep them all like in their boxes. Uh, so I would literally never wear them. I'd only yeah. wear the shoes that mm, were accessible that much. I could see. So in this new place, I have these like clear kind of shoe containers. Oh, so and cool. I find I can see my shoes because I can see my shoes. I'm like, oh let's wear these today and they get yeah. more rotation. Fun. So yeah, visibility is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have the space, I think, uh, I think it's a good thing to have if, even if, if you have the space to have like your whole wardrobe in your closet mm -hmm. so you can see it. Like I don't have that. I have to like, you know, I actually have to do my summer to spring the summer capsule wardrobe switch over now because uh, I tend to have a lot of my year round pieces in my everyday wardrobe, but seasonal pieces do live in storage and I often forget about them 
mm-hmm. until mm-hmm. I have to pull them out. So totally. that visibility and accessibility is really important. And that does take, as we talked about, a little bit of organization and prep. Uh, and yeah, basically eliminating barriers. So if you have yeah. your jewelry out on your dresser in the morning, easy to grab and not in a jewelry mm-hmm. box, then you're probably more likely to wear it. If you can see it, you're going to wear it. Kind of like, a, you know, if you have cookies on the counter versus <gasps> cookies in the cupboard, right? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yes. Great analogy. <laughs> yeah. Great analogy. I love how we uh, reference, like, food. Food. Like yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's breakfast time. Time, time to eat. Time to eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, on that yeah. note, let's go. Uh, breakfast time. Yeah, I'm um, <laughs> I am yum. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Let us know, as always, in the comments uh, what your style habits are. If there's anything that you learned, always fun to hear from you. Uh, if you are listening, give us a follow, uh, rate the podcast. It always helps uh, so that we can create more of this content for you, which we love doing. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for joining in our conversation this week if you're enjoying the show we'd love it if you subscribe to the podcast on spotify and apple and leave us a rating and review it's one of the best ways to support the sustain this podcast at zero cost to you we're also a community-led podcast so if you have any questions for us topic requests or even guests you want to hear from please send us a dm on instagram at sustain this underscore podcast we read all of our comments and look forward to hearing from you We hope you join us again next Tuesday where we'll talk about so much more than clothes. Ciao!